All right, I wanted to go through the homework problems uh, a little bit with you so that you have a concept of how to do the problems that you're supposed to do tonight and over the weekend. Now, let's take a look at it in the textbook. Uh, we should be on page 433. And on page 433, you're going to see problem number 30, which is the one that I'm going to show you right now. So let's come on back over and let's figure out what in 30 we're actually given. So we're, we're going to have 0 0.00922 grams. And if you're thinking, you're going to say, gosh, uh, we don't have grams in gas laws. Well, that's true. But we do have N, which is our moles. So what we're going to do, we're going to set this to N as if we had mills and we were trying to get that for V, but we'd have to change that into something else. Well, this is the same way. So I'm going to take my moles, and let's take 0 0.00922 grams, not moles. This is the beginning of a little short grid, and we're going to make this into moles by taking the molar mass of the gas, which in this case is H2. I forgot to write that in. If you look on the periodic chart, you'll see the mass of hydrogen is 1. Very good. Very good, Annie. And now we're going to take the molar mass of that because there's two hydrogens. It's going to be 2. So our conversion here is going to be 2 grams. We have grams on the bottom because we're trying to cancel grams up here, which is also H2s. And then on the top, we have 1 mole just like we did in the last chapters. And now we can go ahead and do the conversion on that, or do the calculation on that. And so we have 0 0.00922 divided by 2. And the number comes out to 4.61 times 10 to the minus 3. And we can just move that over and not mess with the power of 10. And so that will be 0 0.00461. Makes our calculations a little bit easier. And now we have the real value of n that we are going to use in our calculations because we cannot use n in any calculation. I mean, we can't use grams in any calculation. Now, this gas is occupying STP, standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature now is going to be at 273 Kelvin, and standard pressure is going to be uh, one atmosphere. And now we have three of the four variables for PVNRT. Remember, PVNRT looks like this, NRT. Now I'm going to take my moles, and that's going to be over here at 0 0.00922. That's the grams. Oops, we can, we converted that. 0 0.00461, and that's our moles. And we're going to multiply that by R, which is 0 0.0821. And then we're going to have the temperature from over here, which is 273 Kelvin. On the other side, we have uh, pressure. And what are we looking for? the one that we don't have, which is the volume. And so we're going to have a V, and we're going to have a P of one atmosphere. One atmosphere is lovely because it makes calculations easy. Now when we're solving for V, we can just multiply these guys together. And since they're going to be multiplied by one, it won't change that number at all. So we take 0 .00461. And we multiply that by 0 0.0821. And multiply that by 273. Oops, I divided. I'm a bad boy. Let's get that changed. And that's 273. And now our number that we get at the end, V is going to be equal to 0 0.103. And that's going to be in liters because that is the only unit we can use in PVNRT. Just to review the unit of, now this is the answer to that problem, but to go back in case you've forgotten, 
Whenever I have pressure, that has to be in liters. Whenever I have volume, that has to be in atmospheres when I'm using PV and RT. R is always going to be equal to 0 0.0821, and T is always going to be in Kelvin. Can't be in anything else. This should get you through your homework tonight. Hope you got a lot out of it, and give me some feedback on it. Bye-bye.